VPP now has for over three years been serving our veteran community, our active duty military personnel, and those Christian leaders and others who have asked us to serve, evacuate, resettle, and shelter um, our vulnerable Afghan allies until they can be permanently resettled. And we've been doing that for three years. And so my guest today is Prince Wafa. We discuss the collapse of Kabul, the fall of Afghanistan, Prince's story. He snuck into Afghanistan, an American citizen, to rescue his wife, gets trapped there. VPP gets in touch with him because his former commander reached out to me. We were able to get Prince and his wife out of there, and he has served us faithfully now for three years. And thanks to Prince and his family's brother's hard work, we have been able to serve hundreds of thousands of Afghans um, through food distribution, fuel distribution, uh, support and uh, supporting education inside Afghanistan and in the neighboring countries of Afghanistan, uh, what we call lily pads, providing shelter and food through our safe house program and serving them until they're permanently resettled to a safe, a safe final destination. So in this show, it's three hours long. Can you believe that? Three hours. And towards the end, I digress and I talk about the war in Gaza. I may make a lot of you upset. Mm, all right. I, I want to ask you to listen till the end, and that's going to be a challenge because it's three hours. So you might, you might have to eat this meal over several days. But I really would like you to listen to the show. We start out very conventionally, and then, and then the wheels just come off. You would have thought I was drinking, but uh, I, I'm not drinking at all. I am smelling the kimchi soup that my, my daughter's making. It smells very good. But uh, this is an important show to me. Because Afghanistan for us is not yesterday's news, right? It is not. We were told we went there to bring democracy, to keep Americans safe. We didn't. The Taliban controls Afghanistan. Al-Qaeda is operating across Afghanistan. ISIS now exists. All right, so this, this did not make us safer. Many Americans died. Thousands of Americans died and were wounded in Afghanistan. It did not make us safer, did it? Um, we left $88 billion in weapons to the Taliban. We were told that not only were, was this going to make us safer, but there, we were going to create a, quote, operation. It was called Operation Enduring Freedom. We were told that we would create a freedom that would endure for generations, forever. And what we didn't know is that enduring freedom is a synonym for a 20-year, $2 trillion grift. That's what it was. Operation 20 years and $2 trillion. That's what it was. Um, so for us, we are still committed to the people of Afghanistan. We are still committed to our national security. And we are still especially committed to serving those Afghan allies that fought shoulder to shoulder with our Americans in uniform, American men and women in uniform. So this is Prince and I talking about our work in Afghanistan over the past three years looking back at the fall of Kabul, and then we drift into Gaza. 